What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Tarotaro, back at the game and hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. If you need a personal, all the information will be listed in the description box below along with the um, uh, link to my Etsy spiritual shop. All right, so we're giving you a tacky day today. <laughs> Y'all, okay, so... I was going to um, my husband's appointment with him to do his little, you know, check up about the snippy snip. And they told me I can't sit up in there. This, I was so excited. Like, I'm probably more excited about this appointment than he is. And they won't let me in. They was like, oh, you're going to have to sit in the car. So, you know, I, I, clearly there was a reason why. I um, grabbed a deck and put it in my purse. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get in here. i got to go ahead and give props, you know, where they're due. Heather has really looked out. I, um, I brought this deck with me. It's Oracle of the Mystical Moments. And this shit, oh my God. The messages that I was just getting off this shit. <laughs> Y'all, we just going to see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's get into the Gemini's energy and see what the Gemini needs to know for today. What Gemini needs to know and be aware of, Spirit. Okay. The first card that we've got is Home in the Sky. Y'all, the first thoughts I've got on this is somebody's home situation is being reevaluated. Um, there's definitely somebody's, um, th like, there's a lot of people talking about somebody's home living situation in this time. Okay? I feel like you may, like, I heard, I heard word around town. But I'm also getting messages, hardcore messages. And I feel like it's a lot of people talking about a home living situation. Okay, and it's definitely seeming like it's a child. Um, I feel like this, this child is a very feminine energy. Okay, the journey was what's not seen and it's underneath. And I'm going to show you that card too. But it's like I definitely feel like there is something being discussed in this time about a child's living situation like i'm getting innocence okay there's definitely like and i feel like it's hot air balloon hot air i feel like it might be a lot of gossip around this situation all right i'm also getting something about something that stings okay there is some kind of situation that is being discussed in regards to a child um, that may cause you to kind of be a little bit alarmed or feel on edge. You may hear about some information that is going to kind of stir you up a little bit in regards to maybe something that's happened um, that you're hearing about from a child or from a different individual. You may be getting a phone call in regards to this. Okay. I am getting something of innocence, though. It's almost like... I feel like a child is, has said something and they didn't realize they've said something that someone else is going to try to use, okay? I feel like they've taken something that a child has said and flipped it to try to um, make it seem more alarming than it even is. I'm definitely getting the sense of, like, gossip, hardcore gossip right now. Okay, Spirit wants you to be aware of a lot of gossip that's going on in regards to children. This may be the child's mother or some kind of feminine energy. Maybe not mother, she's old. Let's see. Okay. I'm getting that there is an older female who is um, behind a lot of the rumors that are being spread in this time. Um, I feel like this older female is very, 
she's not very mature. It's like there's something about her age. Look, I heard age ain't nothing but a number. Um, but I feel like there's something about she's older, but she communicates and behaves like a high schooler. Okay? There's something about this woman's energy that has never fully matured. All right? And I feel like she's trying to stir up some kind of gossip, some kind of drama in regards to a home situation, living situation. Okay? Hot air is what I'm getting. What else is a Gemini need to know? Be aware of? What does a Gemini need to know and be aware of in this time? The Observer. I'm getting the um, sense that you might need to be keeping some kind of ob look, observation. You need to be keeping some kind of documentation um, in this time because I feel like it may be called upon in the future like to need some kind of physical documentation or something about physical documentation um, that's going to end up kind of saving you in a certain situation. Like I feel like What's not seen is you may still kind of be lingering in some kind of toxic energy that it's like I feel like you've tried to move away from because of those like, I feel like you've made wishes and hope, like you've hoped and wished for things to be different in regards to a certain situation. But I feel like it's too toxic at this time for you to be able to completely be released from a certain person's energy. It's like, I feel like somebody wants to keep their toxic hold on you, okay? I'm hearing snakes in the grass once again. I feel like a lot of this chatter, this may be chatter that's going on around your home, around your family. You need to be aware of what people, or not, you may not even need to be aware of what people are saying, but definitely keep all the shit that you're doing documented because I am getting something about someone in this time trying to possibly um, cage you in a certain, in, in a certain sense, like getting you in trouble. Um, possibly lies. Like I'm feeling slander here. I'm feeling a lot of slander here. Um, a lot of jealousy. Like, what I am getting, random message, um, whoever this toxic individual is, they got some fucking balls, okay? Whoever this toxic in individual is, they've got some fucking balls, and I feel like they are going to, um, try to come at you again. <laughs> On the bottom, I got Sea Witch. Like, I feel like this person plays on your emotions or wants you to have some kind of emotional outburst. So, I feel like the only, like, I feel like they, they the only way that they can um, affect you is to possibly pour toxic, toxicity into a child, is what I'm getting. I'm also getting a lot of octopus energy. Like, when I say octopus energy... Like, it looks like tentacles is coming out of this kid's hair, okay? There's also tentacles right here when I was sitting there saying the woman's toxic that you're dealing with. Um, and like the snake. I'm definitely getting the vibes of something's coming out in this time, okay? There is a third party um, observing something in regards to a mother and a child okay i feel like there is a mother and a child that is being observed in this time um as far as tentacles go i feel like i'm seeing t a tentacle wrap around a person so um i feel like there might be something that happened in the past that was either caught on film or there's some kind of documentation or some kind of proof in regards to some shit that went down um in regards to this mother and child, some kind of toxic behavior, some kind of, something's being talked about, okay, like, and I feel like it's going from house to house, I feel like either a child has said something to a third party, someone who had just been on the outside observing, and I feel like this person is going to also try to come in and 
um, like it's like she's giving the side eyes, like she's seen something and she's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like, I feel like there is something that a child is saying that's in, in this time that is triggering someone, okay? And it's in regards to a mother figure or toxic um, behaviors or something that's taken place, like possibly a long time ago, or if it's not a long time ago, you know, a few months ago, a few years ago, like I'm getting a, that, getting a sense that it's time. There's a lot of time involved in regards to the situation. Um, it's almost like I feel like something is being recalled in this time from like a child is having a, a I heard relapse, but I feel like, um, thinking back on some shit that had happened in the past for some of you this child is actually talking to someone as far as like a could be a guidance counselor or a counselor of some sort i am getting fairy godmother energy um flower spirit like somebody who is meant to look after children and making sure that the well-being of a child is looked after i feel like there's something in regards to this like this third party individual is coming in and assisting like almost like a fairy godmother type energy to help clear up a child's mind i'm getting something about this toxic energy is um is poisoning a child's mind like i'm just getting like something that this mother has done or this feminine energy you know take it however um there is some kind of feminine energy that has been poisoning a child's mind and it's also being observed in this time by like this fairy godmother type individual like possibly a counselor a teacher um just a third party to the whole situation and i feel like this person is definitely recording it protectiveness and i feel like there is going to be look i heard child protective services so um some of you may be hearing about this coming about like something about child protective services like i'm getting the sense that this um this third party is like put in a certain situation to kind of monitor this child like i feel like this third party is definitely monitoring this child and their living situation i also feel like she's definitely having to write something down like i'm seeing her write something down and having to document and communicate something about um, look, I'm like a rat's nest is what I'm seeing, a rat's nest. Somebody may have rats in their home or may need to be cleaning better and they're not cleaning, but I heard rat's nest. So I feel like it's not suitable. Whatever's going on, like this kid is not living in su suitable conditions or there's something about the conditions that's being looked into at this time in regards to a child. Like, I feel like it's, it's dealing with the mother. Like, I feel like there's something about the living conditions that is going to have to change um, for this feminine energy who is taking care of this child because I feel like there's something off about where this person is staying, where this child is staying. There could possibly be three children in the home, and this, this could be... I heard there's an elephant in the room, though. Like, there's something going on in this living situation that's poisoning the child, the child's mind. I'm getting impressionable here. Okay. I need to know for today. It's starting to get hot in here. Just wiping it down. Mm, speaking of that, it's like hot in here. The air may not be working for the in, the, in this person's. Um, they may have issues. Like when I'm saying um, living situations, I'm feeling like not necessarily living arrangements but it's something in regards to the home that is dangerous to the child like they may not be getting um enough air or they may not be getting heat or they, there may not be electricity or running water there's something in regards to um into in regards to this as far as like the child's well-being is 
like they're not being looked after or cared for in the way that they're supposed to be. And that looks way too damn mini. I had already said something about elephant in the room and when I had seen this card before um like this this pink bird and the guy on the bird holding the umbrella it said under my umbrella but it's not right over here with the two owls sitting on top of the elephant elephant in the room like I feel like you may be put into a position where you're just meant to kind of listen or hear something i feel like you're gonna hear something absurd is what i'm getting there's gonna be some kind of absurd like obscene absurd is what i'm hearing um kind of conversation that you're gonna overhear or something that a child may possibly come and tell you and it seems like it's a male um a male but may possibly be coming to tell you um i don't feel like they realize what it is that they're saying they're not fully aware of what it is that they're saying, but it's like they're just talking to be talking, okay? And I feel like you're just there to listen, but I feel like something's kind of going to um, trigger you. Not necessarily trigger you, but make you feel like, hold on, that's off. Like, I feel like there's something that's going to be said that is going to make you think twice, you know, about a certain situation, all right? Like, something that isn't seen. Okay, and I feel like this is going to be occurring, if it's not right now, it's going to be com um, coming between, like, the spring to summer energy, spring to summer. I feel like there's going to be some kind of information, a reveal about something that wasn't seen in regards to a living situation. Okay. What else do we have for the Gemini? Lots of people walking by me looking at me crazy. I am in the Bible Belt right now. <laughs> Bible Belt. Some of them, I look at religion. They may be being forced into a certain religion. Physically forced into a certain religion. I feel like I had said rat's nest to begin with. And it's like it came out again with a child. L'Oreal or Laura Lee and Sleeping Beauty's Dream. Mm. I'm getting the vibes that rat's nest. I feel like something that's happened in this um, person's home is definitely going to be brought to the surface. I feel like it's something that was very deep or hidden um, and not something that surface level people would see or know about, like the buildings cracked. I just, I'm definitely getting the vibes of somebody's house is falling apart. Um, and I feel like the child is going to be some type of link for a certain bit of information to come out. Something that's definitely happening at night or that's being observed at night is going to come out like a child is going to end up talking about it or saying something um, in regards to whatever this is. And I feel like it's also going to cause some kind of transformation to take place. But, like I said, Child Protective Services, like, I really feel like there's going to be something in regards to that go on. I feel like in some situations, there may be a child that is being medicated um, with something that's not what they're prescribed as well. Let's see what we've got. Could be in a child message. And it's like it's, I feel like it's by somebody who 
somebody who, for some reason, they keep getting, like, it's like they'll get themselves these really crazy, um, like, unreal predicaments, but somehow they always find a way to escape the tower, escape the tumbling, like, the tumbling, the crumbling tower. Okay? It's like this elephant is over here. It's like they're stranded in a tree. Then, yeah, they fucked up um, by being lured into a trap, but it's like they can grab the key. Like, the, the, the elephant's not panicking. He can grab the key and make his escape. Okay? Keys on trees. I feel like this is also, like, the lullaby. It's some, something from someone's past is about to be revealed. And I really feel like it could possibly result in some kind of um, legal repercussions because of what is exposed i feel like there was definitely a woman um who was going back and forth between two males okay um in and out of the house i feel like this information that's going to be exposed is actually going to end up freeing this person who was actually the toxic individual um i feel like I feel like it's actually going to be a little shocking what comes out, like, night and day. Like, I feel like um, this person might have tried to reach out to a certain individual and they turned their back on them. So, it's now, because they realize there's no other way back in, um, they're being, not necessarily forced to tell the truth, but they're almost using the truth as a way to get themselves out of a predicament that they put themselves in. Okay? Um, so they can actually turn their back to a situation. I feel like this might have been somebody who was clinging to a past situation, um, hoping to possibly mend a fence, mend something, but they had already turned halfway around. They just weren't all the way out yet. Um, I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be some, there's some kind of divine intervention going on here in regards to secrets being revealed from the past. I feel like some people, may, somebody may be finding out that a child really is not there. Um, for some of you, you'll be finding out about a child that is definitely not there. Um, it's something that this woman wanted to hide because she wanted some kind of financial, um, come up, but she didn't get what it was that she wanted. So she's being forced into seeing things from a different perspective and she's being forced to mature and kind of grow up. Um, and it's like her only out to a situation. I feel like it's her only out to um, getting out of whatever tangled web she weaved herself into. All right. So expect some kind of truth to be revealed and it kind of be a little jarring. I say that. It may not be completely your message. This may be somebody around you or in your energy message. Okay. But I feel like what comes out in this time is going to be very shocking. And it's definitely in regards to this child. Definitely in regards to the child. My dear friend and under my umbrella. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, that's you guys' message. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.